Good morning, year two. So our last fact of the day before half term is going to be another square number. It's five times five makes 25. So the picture up there shows five sets of five. And then we've got the square array with five rows of five. So remember, there's not as many different facts you can make because it's got the same two digit times by the same digit. You can still divide it by five. So 25 divided into fives equals five. And if we do that on the array, you can see that there's five fives all together. If we make it a bit bigger, let's do five times 50. So if you had five fifties, that would be 250. So you've still got the 25, you've just added a zero. Let's do it as if it was money. If you've got five 50 p's, you'd have two pound 50, which is the same as 250 pennies. If you had 50 times five, so 55 p's, you'd have 250 pence or two pound 50 again. And can we swap it around one more time? We can, can't we? Five times, oh no, done five times 50. There's not a lot you can do with this fact. We can make it a little bit bigger though. Let's just do the other inverse first. So 250 divided into fives equals 50. 250 divided into 50s equals five. Let's try 15 times five. Now remember, we're gonna partition the 15. So we're gonna do 10 times five. Then we're going to do 5 times 5, and you've got to add those two together. So 10 fives, we should know a 50, and we know 5 fives are 25. So see if you can add those together to get 15 times 5. Right, make sure you've written those neatly in your book. Today's TRP is can I solve word problems? So we're going to be looking at some problems that use measures, but you don't have to do any measuring because the problem will give you the numbers. You have to work out what you need to do with them to solve the problem. So if we look at the first one, it says, my pencil is 12 centimetres long. Tom's pencil is six centimetres longer. How long is Tom's pencil? So the important information are the numbers. We've got a 12 and a 6, and then it's the word longer. So it's an adding problem. You need to add the 6 to the 12, and that will tell you how long Tom's pencil is. So I'm not going to give you the answers, but to start with, I'm going to show you what maths you need to use. Wazim's desk tray is 35 centimetres long. Sue's desk tray is 10 centimetres shorter how long is Sue's tray? So the numbers are 35 and 10, but this time it's shorter. So that means it's a takeaway. So you've got 35, I'm gonna write these in columns, 35 take away 10. So see if you can have a go at writing those in your book and solving them. Now we've got Pat's rabbit is 40 centimetres long. Zeta's rabbit is five centimetres longer. How long is Zeta's rabbit? So that one is adding again because it's longer. So it's 40 add five. So make sure you write down the number sentence as well as the answer. Hi, I'm 25 centimetres tall. What would his height be if he was twice as tall? So that's a times, is it? If it's twice, it's 25 times two. But remember, there's another way of doing that. You could do 25 add 25. You might already know what that is or else you can work it out. My cat is 20 centimetres tall. My dog is 15 centimetres taller. So that's another adding one. So 20 add 15. Remember, you have to add up the ones first and then the tens, and that will give you the answer. And when you've got the answer, remember to write CM because it's a question about length. 
My pencil is 15 centimetres long, Tina's is 10 centimetres longer. So that's another add. Oh, it's Tim, not Tina. So that's 15, add 10. And then Cassie's pack of crayons is 45 centimetres and Sue's pack is 10 centimetres shorter. So that's another takeaway. 45, take away 10. Right, some more measuring ones. We've got 33. So Jake's rabbit is 33 centimetres long. Tina's rabbit is seven. So that's a longer one. So that's adding. So 33, add seven. You can count that one on, on your fingers, put the big number in your head and then count on seven. So this time the meerkat is 60 centimetres tall. What would his height be if he was half as tall? So that's a dividing question. That's 60 divided into two. What is half of 60? If you know what half of six is, that will help you. Now the next one says, my dog, oh, it's actually my cat it starts with, doesn't it? My cat is 30 centimetres tall. My dog is 15 centimetres taller. How tall is the dog? So that's an adding one. So 30 add 15. These questions are talking about weight, so they're talking about kilograms. There are five kilograms of peaches in a box. How many kilograms of peaches are in two boxes? I think, I hope you could work that out. I want you to write the number sentence and the answer. I think you don't need any help with that one. Next one, a loaf of bread weighs 500 grams. How much do two loaves of bread weigh? Probably don't need much help with that because if you look at it, it's like a fact of the day. It's very similar to the one up the top. Number three, there are 10 kilograms of bricks in a crate. How many kilograms of bricks are in three crates? So what number sentence do you need to help you work that one out? An apple weighs 100 grams. How much do five apples weigh? There are 10 bananas in a one kilogram crate. How many bananas are in four crates? Now, all of these are times. That one's a times, that one's a times. The previous ones were all times. There are four kilograms of cherries in a box. How many kilograms of cherries are in five boxes? So I will help you with that one. That's four times five. Now you can always draw an array for it if you don't know, or you could count in fives on your fingers. Four fives. A box of strawberries weighs 200 grams. How much do two boxes weigh? That's a really easy times. There are five kilograms of pears in a crate. How many kilograms of pears are in three crates? So that's another five times table, isn't it? It's three times five. An orange weighs 200 grams. How much do three oranges weigh? So you're counting in two hundreds there, aren't you? What you need to work out is 200 times three. So you could write them in columns if you want. There's three two hundreds, three that's right, 200s. Can you add up those to get the answer? And remember, the answer will have a G because it's grams. There are 10 apples in a one kilogram bag. How many apples are in six bags? And that's quite an easy times. Finally, these type of questions are called find the difference questions. And they're ones that often appear in tests that people find quite tricky so the first one says, Tavius's hand span was 18 centimetres, Reggie's was 12 centimetres. How much wider was Tavius's? So that means you're finding the difference between Reggie's and Tavius's. And to do that, you need to find out how many do you have to add to 12 to get to 18. And that will tell you the difference. Olivia D's foot was 18 centimetres. Miss Annalise was 22 centimetres. How much longer was Miss Annalise? So with this one, it's the same. It's finding the difference. How do you get from 18? 
what do you have to add to 18 to get up to 22 and that will find you the difference you could do take away you could do 22 take away 18 or 18 take away 12 but it's easier to count up to the next number because they're quite close 18 and 22 and the last one said miss annalee's mug holds 200 milliliters of tea and mrs lewis's holds 250 how much more does mrs lewis's hold so that's the difference how do you get from 200 what do you have to add to 200 to get 250? And that will tell you the difference. When you've had a go at those, I've just got a silly little story I'm going to read. It's a bit rude. Some of the pictures are a bit rude. They always make the children in class laugh a lot. So I hope you enjoy that. So this is a funny story about capacity called Mr Archimedes Bath. Mr. Archimedes' bath always overflowed. And Mr. Archimedes always had to clean up the mess. Can anyone tell me where all this water came from? Mr. Archimedes decided to find out. He put just a little water in the bath, as he always did, and this time he measured the depth. But the water rose. Where did all this water come from? bellowed Mr Archimedes. I don't know, said Kangaroo. It's not my fault, said Goat. I didn't do it, said Wombat. But when Mr Archimedes measured it again, he found the water had gone down. Mr Archimedes was puzzled. Somebody must be doing this, he shouted. Where's it gone? The water rose. When Mr Archimedes measured it, he found it had gone down again. Now let's see what happens when you are left out, goat. Maybe it's you, kangaroo. You stay out and we'll see if it happens again. Again, the water rose. That left only one bat to blame. Mr Archimedes was angry. Get out and stay out, he shouted. But the same thing happened. Who could be responsible if it wasn't kangaroo and it wasn't goat and it wasn't wombat? Could it be Mr Archimedes? The friends decided he should have the bath all to himself. He climbed in and the water rose. He climbed out and the water fell until there was just the same amount Mr Archimedes had put in. Mr Archimedes got so excited that he jumped in and out, in and out to make the water go up and down. Eureka! I found it! I found it! He shouted. Jump in, everyone! And the bath overflowed. See, said Mr Archimedes, we make the water go up. There are too many of us in the bath. That's all. The friends had so much fun that night jumping in and out, making the water go up and down, that they made more mess than ever before. I'm going to have a go at reenacting Mr Archimedes' bath without Mr Archimedes, but using these three animals. So I've filled up the bath, the bowl of water. I'm going to measure how much water is in there to make sure the ruler's the right way up. There is four and a half centimetres in there at the moment. So who's going to get in first? Have the penguin. Oh, he looks very at home in there, doesn't he? Oh, it's nearly five now. So it's gone up a little bit. It's nearly five. Are we even going to have room for the hippo? <laughs> Oh my goodness, the penguin's fallen over. It is now five and a half. So it's gone up one whole centimetre. Right, this is going to do it, I think. He's going to have to sit, isn't he? He's too big to budge up, budge up. And there we have the bath overflowing. So what is happening is the space that the animals are taking up is pushing the water out. So the space that they're filling is pushing the water out and over the edge. So the highest it could get is, I can't even get the ruler in now, is six centimetres, because that's how deep the bowl is. And now that's it, it's over the edge and I need to go and mop it up. <laughs> 